It was a long night. With the tide turning both ways, it went down to the wire, and even in the wee hours of the morning, it appeared that no resolution was in sight. The Gutierrez Zuggan team began the night with a slight lead after the first few precincts were reported. As the night dragged on, however, the Cabo Tenorio team would get a significant lead. But then as more precincts were reported, the Gutierrez Zuggan team would chip away at that lead, keeping the race close. It was so close that the final score put Calvo Tenorio up by 583 votes. It was enough to give the Calvo Tenorio team a 50% plus one lead as is required by Guam law to declare a victor. However, it was not close enough to prevent the possibility of a recount. By law, if candidates are within 1% of each other, a recount is in order. In fact, even elections with a 2% margin are often recounted just to be sure. I'm standing here in the midst of the uh, Gutierrez Uggen campaign. They are meeting here behind us. They have not decided yet to concede or whether or not to ask for a recount. With such a small margin of victory, Gutierrez would not concede. Surrounded by his closest supporters, the former governor indicated that the election was over, but that they would still wait for the GEC to decide on the need for a recount. Okay, guys, so I really appreciate uh, the perseverance you have uh, shown uh, tonight. And uh, we'll all regroup after uh, we hear what the election commission is going to do uh, for uh, the reconciliation of this election and uh, see what happens when they do a recount. And, uh, Thank you. That's still the one. Carl Gutierrez has actually just informed his campaign that they're going to wait for the reconciliation of the GEC uh, to decide on exactly what the vote was. Uh, they are also going to probably initiate a recount. Uh, and so Carl's comment was to say that the election might be over, but the counting is not. Reporting from Democratic headquarters and Gutierrez-Uggen headquarters, I'm Sean Trevelyan for PNC News.